I'm going to make this clip a little bit louder. You can see that it's not really filling the waveform view, so I think that we can do a little bit of good here. I'm going to come down here and show you the louder button, and one simple click will amplify our waveform enough for our purposes here. I'm going to switch back to the voiceover clip, because I'd like to put some effects on it. I want to make it sound a little bit bigger, and maybe give some space to it. We already have our effects rack up here. If you don't see it, you might be over here in the tasks view. Just come on over and click the effects tab, and you'll get right where I am. I'm going to come down here into the effects area, and right click, which brings up this menu for me. I'm going to go to the advanced effects, because it gives me a little bit more control. Again, we're going to cover all this stuff in detail a little bit later. I'm going to pull up a dynamics effect. And then right below it, I'm going to put a convolution reverb down. For the dynamics, I'll just pick a preset here. Let's try better presence. I'll also come and pick a simple reverb. Let's try out the judge's chamber. Now when we play back our file, we should hear the effects applied. Sound booth CS4. Well, that certainly looks interesting, but we have a little bit of a problem here. You can see that we've lit up this red overage light. That means that the sound is just a little bit too powerful for our system to be able to handle. That's most likely coming from the dynamics effect. So I'm going to come down here and click on the settings dialog. And we'll bring the output gain down a little bit. You can see that we're boosted by 5 dB here. That's probably what's creating our problem. I'm just going to pull that down to uh, as close to unity as the slider will let me get. We'll set it to negative 0.2 and I'll close off this window. I can click on this clipping indicator to clear it, and we'll just hit the play button again. Sound booth CS4. Oh, well, looks like we gotta take it down a tiny bit more. We've clipped again, so I'm just gonna click there. We'll do this one more time. We'll pull this down another couple of dB, close it off, and let's check once again. Sound booth CS4. There we go. Now that time you saw that we had a maximum volume of negative 1.91 dB, which is fine, and we did not light our clipping indicator. So now we can move on.